Hello, my beautiful student. How are you? Today we have a, a lesson of English words talking about Unit Eight, uh, People Book, Page Eighty Seven. As we know, at the last lesson we talked about the past and how we use was and where with them. Today we are talking about the time. As we know, in the other unit we talked about the time, but we only um, learn about how we. Uh, read the number of the uh, time. Today we are uh, re learning another thing about time, which is uh, we call uh, number three quarter past. So whenever any of the line goes to the three, we can say it's quarter past, for example, two. And we can call number nine quarter two. And we number uh, call number six half past okay like this picture we can say it's half past two so whenever the long line goes to number six we call it half past and whenever the number uh, the long line goes to quarter uh, number three we call it quarter past also for the number nine we call it quarter two and those we can call it um uh, qu quarter uh, past Five, quarter past 10, quarter past 40, quarter pa past 45, um, uh, and quarter uh, 2. So, and until here, it's quarter past, and here it will be half past. After number 6, we call it quarter 2. Quarter 2, 25, quarter 2, 20, and then we can say quarter 2, uh, for example, 2 or 9. Then we can say quarter to 10, quarter to 5, and this is the o'clock, okay? So, for example, number one is say, what's the time? We can see it's 2 o'clock. We we'll learn about that. But here is say, what's the time? We can say, uh, or we can see the long line is on 6. We say, on, in, uh, on 6, we call it half past. And we can see the short line is on two. We, so we call it it's half past two. It's half past two. Okay. For the other examples, now we're going to do it together. We have to listen uh, and look at the board together and write the examples together. Okay, let's do it. So, dear student, as we say, we are talking about time. So we have the time here is talking about um, the numbers. As uh, first at the other lesson, we learn about how we uh, read the time, which is here we can say uh, it's three o'clock. Why? Because the long line is on twelve and the short line is on three. So we say it's three o'clock. Okay, so if we want to make another example, this time we use the half. What we use, we use the number six, which is the half. We say the long line goes to six, we, we call it half past. Okay, so if I have an example like this one, we can see the short line is on 10 and the long line is on 6. So if I want to make it like this way, so the short line will be on 10 and the long line will go to 6. So this way we can say it's a half past 10. Half past 10. We can write it like this way. It's half past 10. Okay. Also, we have another example. Uh, we can see uh, the number, uh, the short line is on 4 and the long line is on 6. So, the short line is on 4 and the long line is on 6. This way we call it, we call it this way, it's 4, uh, it's half past 4. Half past four okay so whenever we see the long line on the number six we call it 
at half past, okay? We have another example, this one, we make the short line on number one, like this way, okay? So, the long line is on six and the short line is on one. So, we say it's half past one, okay? Also, we have another example, say, uh, on the 12, we have to make the line, the short line on 12. Let's see how we can uh, uh, say or read the time this way. The short line is on 12 and the long line is on 6. So we say it's half past 12. Okay, we say it's half past 12. Let's see another example this way. We say, it's like this way. We make the short line to two and the long line to three. This way we say, it's quarter past two, okay? If the long line was on three and the short line to any number, we call it quarter past, okay? Let's have another example. This time, we make the long line two on the nine. The long line is on the nine and we can see uh, the short line is on one, okay? So, it will be like this way. Let me show you on this one. We can see the short long line is on here and the short line is on one. We can say it's quarter to one. Quarter to one. It's quarter to one. Okay? So we understand about how we say their names uh, on three. If the long line was on three, we call it quarter past. If the long line was on six, we call it half past. And if the long line was on nine, we call it ha ha quarter two, okay? So, it's very easy. You just have to rewrite it a, a, another time with yourself on a paper and do some exercise with yourself so you can understand and you can learn easily okay so let's go back to the book and we are talking about the conversation uh, on the book we have those uh, this uh, conversation talking about a boy and a girl and they are talking about time let's see the boy say hello and the girl say hi and the boy say look at my watch then girls say whoa it's great is it new and the boy answered, yes, it was a birthday present. Do you see? Because he was talking about past, he used was. And because we are talking about watch, and watch is a non-living thing, so we have to use it. So we say it was a birthday present. Then the girl say, what's the time? The boy say, it's half past eight. So... What's the time? It's half past eight. So the long line was on the six and the short line is on eight. That's why it say it's half past eight. And the girl say, oh no, we are late for school. So the boy say, come on, run. So inside this conversation, we learn about how we talk about past if we would talk about past with I, he, she, and it, we use was. And with you, where, and uh, you, we, and they, we use where. Also, we learn about how we understand or learn to read the time. We say on three, we say quarter two, uh, quarter past. On six, we say qu half past. And on nine, we say quarter two. Okay? So, we learn about how we... Um, explain about the time for this lesson.
so i hope you enjoyed the video try to study well and learn yourself to bring a paper and um, make a picture of a watch then you can do example with yourself or you with your sister or brother to uh, make yourself learn better about the time okay so for today i will say goodbye